Hello, my name is Keshwani. It's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our English. We want to improve our vocabulary. Today is our day number 43. The word that I want to talk about today may seem like a very simple word, and yet I do want to talk about it. The word This word right here has two different meanings. And and is used as two different parts of speech depending on how it is pronounced depending on how you pronounce this word it has two different meanings people only know the first meaning well I shouldn't say people only know the first meaning some people I need to qualify that statement some people oh there's a good word qualify what does it mean to qualify in statement that is an interesting word I spent a great deal of time explaining it when we learned it and again hopefully you mastered all the words in the first 39 days first 42 days as a matter of fact before you before you came to day 43 but just in the event that you have not you should make a habit of going through day number one and mastering all the words on day number 27 oh see this is not a good example qualify is a simple word isn't it but not quite if it if it were simple oh if if it were simple I'm digressing one more time oh, I digress digress means to go off a topic. These are good words that you should have long, you should have mastered by now because they have covered them. Digress. Let's see when did we do it. Oh. But they are all there. I remember distinctly having covered digress. How could I possibly not have covered digress because that is what I, oh day number three. Digress means to go off a topic. Don't, don't, don't confuse the word digress with regress. Regress is the antonym of progress. Progress means to go forward, regress means to go backwards. Digress means to go off a topic, as, it, as I am doing right now. I was talking about the word qualify and explaining something, and all of a sudden I wanted to make a digression, even though this in itself was a digression from here. Anyway, what does it mean to qualify in statement? Well, learn to, watch the video and learn it. The word qualify is an interesting word, it has two different meanings. Make sure you master the word properly. Just type in Kishwani Prep dash vocab dash day 27 and learn it. Digress I already told you. So I'm digressing right now. But what I said is that, and the reason I wanted to digress is because what I was trying to explain to you is that if the word qualify were in fact a simple word, were if it were in fact a simple word, I wouldn't make such a fuss about it. I wouldn't make such a fuss about it. But notice what's going on here. I'm digressing here big time because we are here for vocabulary and all of a sudden I have this uncontrollable urge to give you a sermon in grammar. Notice, it's a singular pronoun, it. A word, a simple word, a simple word, not words. It's an it, a word. Why is it were? Shouldn't it be was? No, it should. It, it has to be were, because I'm speaking hypothetically. If you're speaking hypothetically, if you're making that hypothetical statement, this is the peculiarity of the English language, idiosyncrasy of the other. Oh, a good word, idiosyncrasy, peculiarity, uh, eccentricity of the of the English language. And the English language has too many quirks, too many idiosyncrasies. I'm looking for idiosyncratic idiosyncrasy. Oh, these are very good words to know. 
And if you do not master, if you if you do, if you have not mastered them already, make sure you learn them. We do not have video synchrosy in here. What do you know? Which is which is not a good news because I do not know how to spell the bloody thing. So I cannot put it on the blackboard. Video synchrosy. I know not too many people actually stand in front of the cameras looking for making a fool of themselves and looking for spelling of the words, which is what I am very good at. I I D I O S Y N C R A S Y N I cannot read my dictionary properly. Idiosyncrasy. We'll learn this word later in the future sometime. See, idiosyncrasy is an oddity. It's an oddity. Something peculiar about something. Something odd about something. Something quirky about something. It has uh, English language has is, is, is has quirk. It has its idiosyncrasies. It has its eccentric eccentricity. Because there are some rules which are which are which are seems to have no rhythm or rhyme. This is one of those idiosyncrasy. English language requires that when you when one is speaking hypothetically, one has to employ plural verb even if the subject of the sentence is singular. If it were in fact simple, if in, if if it if it were in fact simple, in fact a simple word, so this should not have been here. If it were in fact a simple word, I wouldn't make such a fuss about it. It is not a simple word. We learned about qualifying. I forget now what I was talking about. Oh, we're talking about this word. You see, this is this is the same word here. It looks like a simple word, but it is not because it has two different meanings and is used as two different parts of speeches. As it is used as a verb and it is used as an adjective, depending on how the word is pronounced. It's the exact same word, exact same spelling, but how you pronounce it changes the meaning, changes the, changes the, how it is used in the, in the structure of the, of the sentence as a part of speech. Enough said, let's learn the word. I'm making too much fuss about nothing. If it were, for example, you might say, well, if I were a rich man, I would buy a Bentley. I, I, I would drive a Bentley. Do you understand? But because I'm not, I'm driving a bicycle. I'm driving a bicycle, riding a bicycle, but you get the idea. If, it, if, I, if, I, if I were a rich man, I would have such and such such. If I were angry, I would have said something, something, something. If I were angry, I'm not. I'm speaking hypothetically. If it's a hypothetical statement, you have to say were. Let's do the simple. Let's do the simple. Simple one first. Converse as a verb. Everybody knows what that means. To converse, it means to talk. And the noun, of course, would be. Conversation. Nothing to it. Very simple word. Very straightforward word. Converse. I'm conversing. I'm talking. Okay. If you engage in a conversation, you engage in a talk with somebody. Converse. What happens if you pronounce the same word as It's not converse, it's not a, uh, it is o, oh, converse. Converse and converse. Converse, converse, and part is the same. Converse is a verb. Converse, on the other hand, is an adjective. What does it mean? If you say something is converse, it means it is opposite. 
au contrary. So if something somebody says some people also pronounce it converse, also this word. It should be converse. So con but if you pr pronounce converse, it just means opposite of something, con in con contradiction to something, contrary to something. Do you understand? You might say, but when it's pronounced, when it, that's, that's is where the idiosyncrasy of the language comes into it. When, it's, when it is used it's, uh, as, a, as an adverb, then people say conversely. They don't say conversely, it says conversely. But if it's used as an adjective, then it's pronounced converse, opposite, contrary. If something is converse, it is opposite. You might believe this one, but the converse is true. Just the converse is true. Or as French would say, as the French would say, au contraire. Converse. That's what I want to do today. Just one word. That's it. Converse and converse. That's the end of our day. Alright? I hope you found it helpful. I, I hope you found it interesting. Sometimes I make too much fuss about it and there were too many digressions. I, I erase all the words now, so I forget. Oh, there was one word that I wanted to put in my list and it's gone now. Anyway, when I watch the video again, I'll, I will see it. If you wish to get hold of me for personal private tutoring, I tutor for GRE, GMAT, SAT and TOEFL. All you have to do is go to any of these website addresses and send me an email. Or you can go to keshwaniprep.com and send me an email from there uh, as to what you require, what helps you require, and I'll be more than happy to do what I can.